La Palma. It's always been the island in the Canaries that's fascinated me the most. A smaller island with less of the tourist zones, home to international observatories and the perfect night sky. But it's also an island that still very much shows its scars, from the 2021 volcanic eruption and more recent wildfires. In this video, I'll show you La Palma, the damaged but most beautiful of the Canary Islands. And here we are, up in the hills already, at the Royal Island Sanctuary of Our Lady of the Snows. Now what this is, it's a Catholic church, and this dates back a long, long time. Now supposedly, when the Spanish conquerors came to the islands at first, they found this image of the Virgin Mary, dating back to around the 15th century, in a cave nearby here, so they built this church. Okay, that was a pretty amazing start. Now I can check into the apartments, gonna drive back down the hill and get that done. The plan for tonight is just to check out Santa Cruz de la Palma, the main city. This alone looks pretty special. But then tomorrow is gonna to be even more amazing. Gonna take the car, gonna drive far and wide over the island and see some pretty amazing sights. Stick with it, you'll see what I mean. And would you look at this, I just step into the city centre and it's immediately beautiful. These lovely old buildings, these cobbled streets, these beautiful balconies, and always the lovely green mountains in the background. There we go, I never even realised there was a beach here, but you've got this amazing black sand beach with these beautiful colourful buildings. Absolutely beautiful here, it's stunning. And I step off into this beautiful, beautiful square. Look ahead of me out the other side. There's these wonderful, wonderful mountains again, all the green, so much colour. And then there's a big ship in the middle. It's the Naval Museum. And there you go. If you're going to have a museum of naval history, why not just have it on a boat right by this beautiful square here? And it's quite a fun museum as well, some interesting exhibits and some lovely stories about the history of the place, because there really is quite some history here as well. This used to be one of the most major trading routes on the way to the Americas. So just past the Naval Museum boat and this dried up riverbed car park underneath me, I've seen this amazing looking fort up on a hill. It looks like there could be incredible views up there. So let's go take a look. Okay, the walk up the hill is starting to reward already. Well, wow, that really wasn't very far up at all. It looks so much higher from down below, but actually it's not too bad. Now, we can't actually visit this fort right now. It's closed at the moment, but still just coming here, it offers a fantastic insight into the history of this city. And it is an old place. This city was founded in about the 15th century. And as I say in the Naval Museum, it became a huge trading post for the Americas. And of course, with that success, came people wanting to take that success. So also, there was a huge problem with piracy here. The city was sacked, and so fortifications like this had to be built against it, I believe in the 16th century. And just down the hill here, right by the waterfront, we come across another one of the amazing forts here to ward off against the pirate hordes. This is Castillo de Santa Catalina. It's really quite an impressive thing. Really dark walls, it really looks imposing here. The day starts to cool, the shadow's coming down, the sun is not so intense, and the streets are coming alive. People on terraces everywhere, amazing smells of food in the air. Oh, I'm loving this place. So this is a bit of crazy fun in the city right here. There's this lift that just goes up, it's absolutely free. It goes to another level in the city. I don't know where, but hey, we're certainly gonna take a look, right? What a lovely thing. Free elevator up to the top of the city. Oh, and look at these views. And there's a view to the ferry terminal there, big car park. That isn't the best way to look. But wow, you come out by this beautiful little church here. 
cobbled streets, super peaceful. And that alone is worth the trip up the lift. You come out to this beautiful, colourful, lovely little square. It's just fantastic around here. Hardly any people, super quiet, so relaxed, but just beautiful. Walking down the hill back towards the waterfront, and I come across this beautiful old square here, this lovely, lovely church. Wow. Okay, and that's it for me. I'm back down the bottom, back by the waterfront. Now it's time just to relax, get some food and get a beer and turn this camera off. It's gonna be a busy day tomorrow, but stick with it. I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, so here we go. Up bright and early, in the car, and starting to travel around this incredible island. It's gonna be a long, long day of travel. And this is the start, the Los Tilos Visitor Center. Now this is a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. It's got incredible abundant biodiversity here. And it's one of the few strongholds in the world of the primitive laurel trees. These used to be on the planet a million years ago. And there's hardly anywhere left in the world with these. Let's go and explore. Wow, the trees here and the cliffs look pretty amazing already. Really dark and imposing valleys below as well. This forest really does feel like stepping back in time. Now this really feels like going right into the forest, albeit on this lovely path. So we should be heading towards the waterfall now. There's supposed to be a big waterfall around here. And then you step out of the cave into this, the sound of water, which must be sourced from the waterfall nearby. And then you step around the corner here and you see the waterfall itself way, way higher than I expected, really quite impressive. And it just feels kind of crazy being here. It really feels like we're deep in the forest, although we're actually not that far from the road. And this is what it's like driving around La Palma. These constant hills and mountains and greenery, valleys beneath you. Okay, just stopped off here for an amazing viewpoint. I can't believe this. This is an observatory of the observatories. Check this out. Just making a quick stop off at this windy point on the trip downhill to a little town called Santo Domingo. This is on the far northwest of the island and it's a tiny little place. Supposedly the whole region that this is in only has about 2,000 or less people. Well, I'm down into the town right now and this really is a tiny little town. There's really not very much here at all, just a few streets. I kind of knew it would be small, but I wasn't really expecting this, but it's really quite charming. I'm not sure what there is really to see here. It is just a small town stop off to see the real life of this island. But I see up on the hill, there's this old fashioned windmill here. That's gotta be worth taking a look. And look at this up on this windy hillside. This is one old school windmill. I've not seen anything like this. And I've seen some pretty old ones back at home in the Netherlands. And would you look at this beautiful square? Now this is the reason we come to small town La Palma. This is absolutely fantastic. This lovely, lovely little church at the end, lovely color everywhere, the palm trees, little cafe bar behind. Wow. Okay, gotta head out of this lovely little town now. Just had a bit of lunch here. Okay, so here's a fun little stop off on the way. So in the area of El Jesus, this is Isla Verde Brew Pub. So I'm not gonna have a beer now, of course, because I've got a lot of driving to do, but certainly gonna pop in there, have a soft drink and buy a couple of bottles to take home and have later. Let's go take a look. Okay, this is a pretty lovely place here. It really seems to be just in the middle of nowhere, but totally worth stopping off on. We're gonna hit the road right now, get some more sights, but got some beers for later. That's a winner.
In September 2021, the volcano at Cumbre Vieja here erupted in what was the most televised volcanic eruption in European history. Although there was no casualties, it's left numerous scars on both the landscape and the economy of the island. And here at Mirador El Time, we really get to see that. Under the volcanic magma that you see behind me, there was about 3,000 buildings buried, roads, irrigation systems, plantations. It was truly destructive. And for an economy that relies mainly on tourism and agriculture, it had such an impact to the island. Okay, so it's fantastic made it down to Tazacorte. It's a beautiful, beautiful little place. Very, very hard to find a parking spot, but hey, I've done it. So I'm gonna go take a look now and enjoy. And there we go, down by the sea at the bottom in Tazacorte. And what would you expect but of course a black sand beach right underneath the volcano. Now this time of day, in this sun, in this lovely little place, down by the sea, there's only one thing to do. Fish dinner. And what a beautiful place this is. This fish restaurant down by the sea on this lovely little square. Everything is so colourful as it always seems to be here. Wow, this is going to be fantastic. Proper fish, they've got fresh fish here, they've got all sorts of things. I've been really looking forward to this. A nice bit of grilled octopus by the sea. That's exactly what I've been waiting for. The texture is just lovely, perfect, delicious. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna try the lovely fresh fish of the day. So this is Dorada. That is lovely fresh fish there. The texture is beautiful. It's almost like butter, it just kind of melts in your mouth in this lovely, lovely way. And what a lovely stop off. Eating this down by the sea on this beautiful square, fantastic. Okay, that was delicious food, seafood by the sea. What's not to love about that? This is a lovely location, but now better head on. I'm gonna stop off at one more viewpoint of the volcano, really close to the volcano. And then the final thing that I came out here for, the night sky. So I'm gonna to go to one of the top points I can go to. Can't actually go to the observatories, they're for professionals only, but still, I'm really, really hoping it's not cloudy and we get a lovely view of the night sky and the Milky Way. Well, there we go, as the sun sets, it seems that I'm lucking out slightly. The clouds have come back over and the volcanoes have skewered. But still, this is kind of an amazing and surreal sight. You see the blackened lava fields running all the way along to the sea here. It's really quite strange to be here, just seeing how life goes on. This little town right in the shadow of the volcano, the destruction right by it. That really makes it feel so real, stepping through this black volcanic ash here, volcano towering above. Okay, it's the next morning now after a well-needed rest. Yesterday was absolutely exhausting, but awesome. I did manage to see the night sky in the end. It wasn't in the spot I was intending, but it was still in a pretty cool spot. There was some cloud cover, which kind of disappeared off in the end, so I got a decent view, but it wasn't as good as seeing the Milky Way or anything like that. The moon was almost at full, so that obviously caused a lot of light, kind of spoiling the view a little bit there. But still, really, really nice to see, a really cool experience on top of a whole load of other cool experiences yesterday. Now anyway, it's the next morning. Going to leave a little later today, but first going to use the car for one more time to go up to the mountain, up to see the actual observatories. Now I can't go in, but we can see them from outside, and I think that is something special enough. Let's go. I've been driving on these mountain roads now for what seems like ages, just endless turns, endless altitude, just going up and up and up and up. It seems like we've gone past a low level of clouds now, although it's brightening up, it's really, really blue skies at the moment. That's unbelievable. The view up here, driving up here, feels a little weird, being so far above the clouds, looking in the rear view mirror all the time and seeing this beneath, it's kind of crazy. Then I come up just a little bit further here and I can see Tenerife in the background. 
And that's it folks, pretty much at the top of the mountain and this is the end of the road for La Palma for now. This is as far as we're gonna go. Just made it to the view of the observatories here. So far above the clouds, it's just unreal. It just feels strange. I can only imagine how good it must be to actually see the night sky fill up here. Gotta come back someday. It's truly an incredible place. I've really enjoyed my time here. It's a wonderful, wonderful island. There's so much to see. I could easily spend a week here, but unfortunately just don't have the time. Anyway, you have to take the chances you get. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next time guys.